Did you ever see a song, pass on it, somebody else recorded it and made a hit? Yep. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> uh, and it still hurts. <laughs> when Actually, when we were looking for songs for this, uh, this Night Train album, uh, my producer and I were flying out to, to Las Vegas and he was playing me some songs that he had found and, um, you know, and I was really in the mindset of, of trying to find like, you know, up tempos and these big, you know, kind of rocking sort of songs. And, um, so he's playing me these songs and I, and I heard this one song that I dug and, and but it wasn't really what I was looking for at the time and just kind of, just kind of tossed it aside. Like, yeah, it's okay. But, you know, but it's a song that goes. Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom, dancing on, you know. So, Luke uh, Bryan. I passed on it. My brother got it, and uh, and and had a big old hit off of it. So, uh, but yeah, that that happens uh, quite a bit. But you know, again, it happened uh, with the song that we had, "Big Green Tractor," was pitched to Jayco, and he passed on it. We got it, and four week number one with it. So, you know, I think certain songs like that fall into the right hands for a reason and uh you know that song was a big song for luke and you know may not have ever even been a, a single for us so uh you know it, it landed where it was supposed to in a friend's lap <laughs> yeah i'm still a little bitter though yeah. i gotta be honest with you you have a question for jason i sure do um what made you decide to incorporate rap into your music and was this met with resistance initially by your label yes and <laughs> <laughs> uh you know what it was um you know, I don't really know what the decision was that that really made me want to incorporate it. I mean, uh, a, a good friend of mine, Colt Ford, is uh, is one of the writers on this song, and and Colt had been on tour with me, and played that song. And you know, I was a fan of the song. I, I just liked the song and never really thought about recording it. It was actually my producer, Michael Knox, that that kind of brought the idea of recording the song up to me. And and it's nothing new. Charlie Daniels has done it. Uh, rap in country music is yeah. is not a new thing. Right. And you know, I think. Um, I think for me it was just once I really kind of wrapped my head around the idea that uh, we could record it and you know it, it was going to be something that was really really different uh, there was nothing like that on country radio um, I just thought it was first of all I thought the song was cool I thought it was different but I thought what the song was saying was still my thing you know it was still my style and, and something that I would say and so it, it really wasn't that much of a stretch for me um, you know, I think there was some people that were a little nervous. You know, you had some people from the record company that were nervous. You had some of them that loved it, loved the idea of putting it out. Uh, and, and I think, you know, just having something that's that different, that off the wall, of course, you know, it, people are going to be a little, little scared of it sometimes. But, uh, get, again, it goes back to what we talked about earlier. I mean, sometimes things like that, that when they work, they work in a big way. And that was, uh, that was kind of something that we saw with that song. When you're when you're looking at your career, I mean, you can be very conservative and just you know try not to ever step outside the lines one way or the other and just you know do this one thing because you know it's safe and you know you know it's it's not going to get any resistance, um, you know, or you can kind of shake it up. You know, I think music is meant to be experimented with, and uh, I don't want to come out with the same album every time. I don't want every song that I put out to be right down the middle of the road. It, to me, that's boring. I get. I, I get bored listening to it and singing it. So I'm assuming the fans, the fans are going to feel the same way. You know, I, I want to continue to never get away from what got me to this point, but also not be scared to, to go out and, and kind of travel down some different roads every now and then and, and kind of shake it up a little bit.